All right, so I know I'm late and I haven't had much time to talk about this yet, but we're about to get into it. So, of course, Excess and Tacion's murder case has officially been on their way. Of course, we've all seen a viral video by now of the guy pointing at his friends, letting them know that they were uh, they, those were the guys involved in killing of Excess and Tacion as well as himself. Now, if you're not familiar, um, it was three gentlemen involved um, and they robbed X for $50,000 and they split it. But one of the guys got an unfair split. So I think the other guys got like 15K or, or more than that. And they only gave the one guy five grand. And of course he took offense to that and then decided he wanted to snitch. And so, well, that's what he did. So at any rate, um, one aspect of the story, which is, which I originally scoffed at, I'm not going to lie, was the fact that Drake had an involvement with it. Um, of course, a lot of people are trying to connect the dots because Drake and X had a public beef. Now, if you didn't know, um, it's hard to pinpoint where they, where the beef started, but one, I know one thing for sure is that X had an issue with Drake still in his flow. Drake would say something back to X Tentacion, usually something about his mom. And then of course, something that I didn't know because I never watched the original video. Um, in the Travis Scott sicko mode video, X, there's a guy that's supposed to be like an X doppelganger in the video, and he gets hit by like this rock or meteor. Um, of course, Drake also been saying things in his line in his music like um SMS tri triple X. That's the only time I shoot below the neck. Um, of course, X was shot in the neck and I think in the chest as well, uh, which led to him dying immediately, according to some reports. Um, so it, it's, it's definitely something that originally you'll sit there and be like, man, hell no, he ain't had nothing to do with that. But then as you kind of think about it, it's like, mm, well, what if, what if he did? Um, cause I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody takes Drake seriously when it comes to violence, like or anything like that. I don't think anybody thinks that Drake will hurt a fly. Um, but at the same time, too, some of the craziest people in the world, some of the most ruthless people come across as if they are the sweetest people in the world. And at the end of the day, Drake's evolution in his music, of course, he's added more gunplay, more more bars associated with guns and different things like that to his music. And of course, we all know he has people around him. He's a very powerful dude. So we know he has people around him that if he really probably wanted you going, he could do it. But I guess... The fact that nobody takes them serious could be an advantage. I don't know. But, of course, we got to see if these guys have any connection to Drake whatsoever. But if you're sitting here watching this video like, man, Drake ain't had nothing to do with this shit. Well, apparently they feel like they got enough on Drake because they definitely want him uh, or pushing enough of a narrative on Drake because they want him to, you know, come to court and prove his disposition that he had nothing to do with it. And so it's going to be interesting following this story for sure. Um, either way it goes, though, back to the original guys, I am glad uh, that those guys didn't stick to the code. I'm, I'm glad that those guys snitched on each other or the guy snitched because, you know, regardless how you feel about snitching, you know, when something is senseless, when something doesn't make sense, man, it, it you need these types of people off the street. You know what I mean? Like X was doing his thing. They boxed him in and then robbed him and still shot him. You know what I mean? It's just it was a senseless death. It, it was really no reason. And a lot of people get on rappers for wanting to leave their hometowns. But most rappers, most famous rappers end up dying in their hometowns. So ask yourself, if you're one of those people that always want to ask people, whoa, you, you're not from this city, man. You don't even fuck with us no more. Ask yourself why. Most of your biggest haters are usually from where you're from. So I want to know what you guys' thoughts are on this story, man. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next video. And make sure y'all like and subscribe. We get a lot of love on this on this TikTok and YouTube lately. And, you know, y'all, y'all. Follow one here and there, but y'all still kind of iffy on the follows. And make sure you follow your boy.